This is my 1986 Polaris Scrambler. So in some of the last videos, I showed kind of walk around of this thing, kind of showed it driving and everything. And one of my main comments was, is that I've always felt like the steering on it is just super light, and especially at higher speeds, it's just kind of squirrely. And I just kind of thought, well, maybe that's just the way these things are. I've never been around them, never seen one in person before. And I actually had somebody comment and reached out and said, actually, my forks are on backwards. So that this should actually be a trailing axle and then like the brake mechanism and everything should be on the other side. So I started kind of looking through some pictures and what I could find online of other people that had these and sure enough, that brake mechanism is on this left side in all of them. So I'm gonna to try to swap these around. We'll probably pull these forks off and switch everything around and get this way it's supposed to be. Take it for a drive again and see if it makes a difference. I would think it should be pretty substantial. This thing should probably be a lot more fun to drive because it goes pretty fast, but at those higher speeds, it just felt so squirrely where just like the slightest movement of the steering just felt like it wanted to almost kind of lock one way and throw you off. Well, we'll go get it on the lift here and start pulling some things off and see if we can get this corrected. Okay, I've got it up on the lift here. I think all I really need to do is kind of undo the clamps on the forks here and I should be able to kind of slide these out and hopefully just turn this thing back around and throw it back up in there. So wait for those bolts there. Off. There's just a couple clamps that just clamp the fork tubes down, so we'll just loosen those up and then hopefully these forks will just kind of slide right back out of there. Hopefully we can get it down enough to slip it out. All right, coming out. Sneak this brake line over. That's gonna have to run to the other side. There we go. That one side out. I think I'm gonna pull this front fender off quick too because it's kind of in the way. these forks around I'm really curious what the original story was and how they got on there backwards to begin with I think we'll just slowly drop this jack down and just work these forks back in clamps back in, put everything back together, we've got this thing on the right side so then we can go for a drive and see if it feels any different.
Okay, it's all back together. Well, let's go take it for a drive and see if it feels any different. All right, let's go for a spin here. So before when I would drive it, it's just the steering wouldn't self-center. It just felt like if you turned too far, it would want to kind of walk in that direction, which made it very sketchy. supposed to be before it just wasn't very fun to drive it felt like you're gonna roll over and die in pretty much any second I've been driving one-handed right now but I wouldn't even try this before We'll go down the road here at some higher speed. Before, like if you got above like 30 mile an hour, it just felt so twitchy. It feels the way it's supposed to now, which is great. Project success. I think the next step is to get this thing out actually on some trails and really put it to the test. Maybe go out and kind of compare it to my 250SX or something and see how it works. 